everybody, it's John, your Indian Cinemaniac, back with another 10 minute review. Okay, for this one, uh, showed up in my queue. So that's why I watched it. Now, usually when I do this, one of you say, why did you watch this one? Who recommended this one? Why the hell would... This is my choice. It showed up in my queue. The actor who stars in it is one that I like. So I said, I'm going to give it a shot. I watched the trailer. I said, okay, this looks interesting. I'm going to watch it. So the film that I have chosen, the Indian Cinemaniac, is the film Force. 2011 Force. I just love the name. Uh, it's directed by Nishikant Kamat, who directed one of my favorite films, Drisham the Ajay Devgan version, not the original. It stars John Abraham, and this is the reason why I want to watch the film, and I've seen a couple of his films. Doom, not Doom 3, that you all hate, that I love. Doom, Pathan, where he played a really good bad guy, and Madras Cafe, which is another film I really enjoyed. Uh, also, uh, Jenalia Deshmukh, who I don't think I've seen in anything. Vidyat Jamwal, who I know I haven't seen anything because this guy uh, is a martial artist, artist expert, and he like he reminds me of Tiger Shroff a little bit, the way he moves. But there was one guy that I did recognize who was in this, Kamlash Sawant, who played the awful police chief who ended up being right in Drisham and also in Khaki. There was others, but those were the were the main ones. So, uh, okay, so this is a remake of a Telugu version of this film, and um, okay, so the story. Um, right, right away, this movie shows a guy getting thrown out a window of this house that's built on this giant cliff. Now, the first question I asked was. Why would you build this house on a giant cliff? And there's like nothing around you, okay? So you are ice. Well, it ends up, that's John Abraham. He climbs up. He's all bloodied. He climbs up this cliff, kind of passes out once he reaches the top. Then people show up to get him. Now he's in the hospital, right? Okay, so, so now it flashes back. Um, and that's when you first meet uh, the uh, female lead character. Uh, what the hell was her name? Uh, I know I wrote this down somewhere. Oh, I don't know what her name was. Oh, Reddy. I think it was Reddy. Um, and she's getting out of bed and going to dance class, right? And there's this peppy music going. The heart searches for a way. But she goes to this class with little kids, and it looks like a foot cream, a pain relief commercial which I didn't understand. So then they cut to uh, to uh, Yash is his name, Abraham's name. He gets ambushed by a bunch of guys, right? And and there's like, I don't know, there's like five or six of them. And uh, you, don't, you don't know who he is yet, right? He's all tat tatted up, and uh, he's there for some kind of deal. Looks like a drug deal. And they're going to... They're not going to let him get away with it. And he's like, you sure you want to do this now? All the guys show up and he thrashes all of them. And then he does this thing. And I read that he actually did this. He picks up a motorcycle and throws it at one of the guys. I mean, uh, I don't know what those things weigh, but uh, I read that he actually did that. It wasn't helped with wires. So then you find out he's an ACP undercover. Um. And the story is he is trying to end the drug trafficking that's happening. And they have a um, an informer who's helping them stop all the gangs. And there's a montage of them um, getting rid of all the drug gangs with his, uh, he's got like this team of agents like him. Um, and the informer is working for Another guy, uh, uh, Vinshu, who who you find out is ultimately the bad guy of the film, and that you introduce him. He, he's uh, he's sitting in a chair surrounded by Kenyans with guns, 
and that introduction is a fight scene and the fight scene's unbelievable the guy's unbelievable the way he moves um and and so now you you know who this guy is right so they also cut back to the love story maya i'm sorry it's not ready the girl's name is maya that's right and they they run into each other her and yash run into each other a couple of times but she's kind of dismissive dismissive of him because when she first met him he was undercover so she thinks he's a thug well then she finds out he's an acp and they keep running into each other well there's this one scene where they're kind of flirting with each other it's a really cute scene and, you know, he, he he's kind of standoffish because he doesn't want anyone to love him because of what he does. That's what you find out. And she's flirting with him, and she's adorable. And then she she turns and goes to cross the street. She's looking at him with love in her eyes. And then, boom, she gets hit by a car. Yeah. That was unexpected. I was not expecting that. So now she's in the hospital, still looking amazingly beautiful and not looking like she was hit by a car. And he's in there the whole time. And she refers to him almost the whole film, uh, ACP, sir. ACP, sir, even when they date. In fact, they do start to date once she gets out of the hospital because he was there the whole time. And there's a, the second song is them driving on a trip together. It's a love song. And um, it's a montage. Um, and then there's the big scene where... He finally admits that he loves her and she loves him and he proposes and it's the third musical number and there's burning trees, a piano out in the desert and she looked hot. She looked hot. Um, and and Vinshu, so, so Vinshu works for another guy. I, I think it was his brother if I understood that. Uh, well, the brother gets killed because Yash and his team kill him. They could have arrested him, but they didn't. And the reason they didn't was because the guy knew he was going to get off. If they arrested him, he was going to get off. Well, Vinch, who sees it, now he wants his revenge. So he's he's attacking each member of the team and their family. In fact, there's a scene that's right out of uh, Cape Fear. I don't know if you've ever seen that, that remake with Nick Nolte and Robert De Niro, where Robert De Niro is in the movie theater laughing hysterically while Nick Nolte and his wife are trying to watch a movie. They did something a little different. They show Yash and Maya in a movie theater. And behind them, you see Vinshu just kind of sitting there staring at him. It, it was even creepier than Cape Fear. I like that. So now this is where this is where it gets kind of strange because it's almost like um, the character of Maya was from a different film. Because she was kind of silly, kind of light, even after she got hit by the car. Kind of goofy. And it really didn't fit with the tone of the film, I thought. Because once Vinshu plots his revenge, he starts killing everybody. And it's it's brutal. Um, you know, one woman's hanging there. I mean, it was just awful. It was awful as his team's getting killed. Um, and they show one, one of them, Manesh and his girlfriend get killed in a flashback. They show it. Um, and, and, and then it ends up that one of the cops on the team, they get his wife, Vinci gets his wife and he sets up Yash and his now wife at this house on the cliff. So it's a house from her family. And that's when these guys show up. They ambush him. They mess him up. They kill the wife. Which is, I mean, I wasn't expecting that. I figured they'd just get married. You know, he's going to figure out a way to save her. And that's when he gets, you know, he he gets shot out the window. That's actually what happened. He holds up a table. The guy shoots him with a shotgun. And now it flashes to the present. And... um they do a, a couple of great fight scenes, one on a bus, real close quarters. But but the end. Oh, oh, so the cop that so, so the cop that uh ratted him out, they say you gotta kill him now, because he survived and he's in the hospital. So so the bad guy says you gotta kill him. So he goes to kill him and he can't go through with it. 
and you knew that was going to happen. Uh, you know, they they went forward, so you th- they made it look like he killed him, and then they flashed back, and you knew he didn't. That, that was no big surprise. But what he does do is they find his wife because the guy said, "If you kill him, I'll I'll show you where where you, my where your wife is." They go to the place where the wife is. The wife's dead. Hang. So this guy goes up there and shoots himself right under the wife that's hanging there. So now there's only Yash and one other guy left. Um, so so that was brutal. And it really, you know, again, tonal shift, right? Once he started wiping out the family members, it's one thing to wipe out the team members, right? But when you go after the family, pretty brutal. And it shows you how bad this guy is. And now, um, in fact, uh, she, uh, uh, he shoots, the bad guy shoots Maya three times. So it's not just one shot. It, it was awful. And then there's the big fight scene at the end. Now, I will tell you, so so before I get to the fight scene, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the story I'm gonna give the story a three. Um I like the story, I was into the story, uh, so I'm gonna give it a three. The one thing that I was very disappointed in, because Vin Shu has shown what a great fighter he is, and Yash has shown what a great fighter he is. And I felt like the fight at the end was a little anticlimactic. I didn't think it was as good as it could be. I thought that Yash kind of won a little easier than I would have thought. Now, it was great to see uh, Vinshu get gutted on a hook. That I liked. But I just thought it it didn't... I was expecting a lot more. And I've seen some pretty brutal fights in these kind of films. So I thought it would have been a little bit better. The performances, I liked all the performances. I mean, I think I give... uh, I give all of them a three. Uh, John Abraham is really good. Um, he's he's been good in everything I've seen. And again, the uh, the guy who played the bad guy, uh, Vidyat, I really liked him. He was just brutal. And the team was good, you know. So overall, I'm going to give the, uh, the performances a three. The music, um, there was some, you know, there was some good numbers in it. Uh, the one after they got married was like the real production number out in the desert, you know, with fires burning. It was kind of surreal. Um, but the music, I give a three. So overall, I, I uh, look, it, it's not a great movie. I, it kept my interest. Um, you definitely wanted him to kill that guy. I, I was surprising the deaths. I didn't expect that. Um, and it was pretty brutal. So I'm actually going to give it, uh, I'm going to give the overall film of four because i did like it i mean i liked it and it it was surprising and i think there's a force too um that i i'm gonna check out because i enjoyed this one i like the character i like john abraham so if you haven't seen it i've spoiled the crap out of it but i still think it's worth seeing had some good action scenes in it the bad guy was good um and uh you know abraham's good at least everything i've seen so far so uh so that's it that's my tennis minute review let me know what you think in the comment section whether you whether you agree whether you think i'm crazy because i know a lot of you had uh, uh bode mine and and uh, chote mine you guys uh most of you hated it which i don't understand because for the type of movie it was i thought it was fine i enjoyed it it was a fun movie i thought the guys were good in it i had i had my problems with it but i don't understand the hate out there for that film but hey like we always say you're entitled to your opinion as i am and i liked force so much i'm going to watch force two so anyway that's it let me know what you think again in the comment section thanks for watching everybody we will talk to you soon with another spot on tennis minute review thanks for watching everyone Thank you.